listening to this, it's great. Uh, the, my mentors were neurosurgeons, uh, D David Klein and Peter Janetta and George Tyndall at Emory, et cetera, but I'm a radiation oncologist, although I did two years of uh, neurosurgery. I, I, I must say that uh, you're pointing out a real, a real sensitive area for me and where we as physicians have been asleep at the switch. We show up only in Congress to be sure our reimbursements are okay. But for the last three decades, we have said nothing about the fact that we were in charge of, not you, but we, generic us, have been in charge of recognizing that the baby boomers were going to come through the system. We were delivering them, but we didn't get, we did, it made no difference to us in our medical schools. We didn't increase our numbers. We didn't increase the, the number of medical schools, the number of kids coming out, and now we're faced with an acute shortage. We've got an acute shortage of general surgeons. We've got an acute shortage of neurosurgeons, orthopedic surgeons, because as they practice, they begin to cut back on their trauma, their quality of life. They're ready in their 50s to slow down a little bit. Uh, our residency programs are full of non-U.S. Uh, graduates. And so we, as a, as, a, as a group, we MDs as a group, have let us all down by not making enough noise, not p participating in the political system. I'm through preaching. What I will say this, I don't think we can pass any sort of health care reform without malpractice reform. There's always four people in your room when you're examining a patient. It's you, the patient, the nurse, and the plaintiff's attorney unseen is there. And if we do not fix that, all of this reform, all of this reform will be for naught because we will not control costs. Because as Madam Chair said, if everyone has an insurance card, they still can't see a doctor. Because if we don't reform the number of providers and we continue to try to reform a system around a scarcity, we create the black market or we create, we create the concierge medicine and everybody else is over here fighting to see someone. So we've got a real problem on our hands and, and I'm afraid that this rush to meet an artificial deadline on health care reform may have some severe unintended consequences. So my, my, my question to you or my plea to you is when you go back to see your people that you represent, they have got to get interested in the political process. You've got to tell them to get interested because your, your fate is going to be sealed by those of us on a panel like this who know very little about what you do. So, but thank you each for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you.